Hey everybody, it's me, Richard, with Real Men Craft Tooth. Welcome to the channel. Uh, sorry, I've been gone for 12 days. I know I've been so sick. Uh, yeah, so hey, I've got my furry, white, fuzzy Mickey Mouse ears on. These came from Japan. And my uh, bright and shiny sunglasses. Uh, these also came from Japan. No, I didn't go, but... Today I've got a completion to show you. I've got a work in progress, and uh, I'm gonna reveal my uh, diamond paint along with friends that I'm gonna do for February. Come back after the intro. Hey everybody, it's me, Richard. Welcome back. So, um, yeah, as you can tell by my voice, I've had a horrible, horrible cold for the last week. Uh, today it is Wednesday, December 13th. Uh, yeah, my eyes are so swollen still. <laughs> so, sorry if I cough on camera. It's just, um, this morning I went to uh, get my results from a throat scan and, um, all of that stuff I've been going through with this nodule on my throat. And uh, yes, I'm wearing Someone's Been Naughty, my Christmas shirt. One of my probably 10 Christmas shirts I have. Um, and uh, yeah, so see this big old bruise right here? Yeah, that was from the scans that I had done on uh, Monday. Uh, they shot the dye through my system, did it through my head. And then uh, this morning I had a... a um, orthoscope where the doctor put two cameras um, down each of my nostrils um, and uh, after swallowing that barium stuff and all that stuff everything came back fine so I don't have any tumors I don't have cancer in my throat uh, so that was a blessing huge 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 burden taken off my shoulders um, so before I get started I want to welcome some new subscribers to the channel uh, yeah, sorry I sound like this, you guys. I can't get, uh, um, it's probably going to get worse as I start talking. So, uh, in no particular order, let's, uh, I'm going to throw my glasses on really quick. So, let's welcome Courtney Domain, Laughter is Addictive, Angie Creel, Martina Maines, Peter Atkins, Terry L., Meredith Garrett, Roy and Sela, and Marty Stalwent. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Um, and speaking of welcome to the channel, um, some of you have been emailing me and saying that uh, you guys are noticing your subscriber numbers go up, but you can't see anybody's names to uh, give them shout outs. Once again, that is, uh, let me get rid of my tablet. That is because your subscribers don't have their uh, their page set to public. Um, <laughs> yeah, so one of my subscribers sent me a step-by-step um, -step thing, so I'll have to uh, write it down and um, put it on screen to show you guys. But I am so excited. So uh, last week, like I said, I've, I've had a really bad cold for... Um, over going on a week and um, it's just been terrible. It's just been horrible. But uh, I finished my Christmas landscape last week and uh, I'm gonna show you guys this. I've sealed it, um, I trimmed it. Now I just need to decide what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I really wanted to give it to somebody as a Christmas gift. Um, and then uh, what about other paintings. Oh, so I've got two paintings. One is Jeremy as the Beast, and uh, the other one is of our cat, Butters. 
I've got those both in the frame shop. Um, they will be ready to pick up um, on the 20th of December. So I, I will share their, those with you when I get those. Uh, they're going to be in frames, and I cannot wait to see both of them. But I started another Christmas painting, and I'm going to um, show it to you guys, and we're going to work on it for a little bit here. But, uh, yeah, I want to show you this painting. It absolutely came out gorgeous. And um, let me see if I can change my lighting here a little bit. Uh, bum, bum, bum. There we go. So uh, I'm gonna show you this painting. It's so pretty. It's um, a 16 by a 26 inch. And um, it came out really, 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 really pretty. Uh, it's a round. And there it is. I'm calling it a New England Christmas night. It's got tons of sparkle. You probably can't see it in this uh, camera in this light. But uh, yeah, it came out really, really, really pretty. You can just feel that, uh, that cold winter night. Yeah, you can feel that that, you know, that nighttime sun going down and that wintry purple dusk and the snow on those trees. Yeah, I think it came out really, really pretty. Um, so let me get rid of this. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put... Wow, I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, actually. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I started. Uh, I started this on Sunday and absolutely, I'm in love with this painting. Um, yeah, I'm in love with this pa painting. It's turning out so nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I started. This is a 50 by 50. Now, in the giveaway where I gave the uh, four pieces away, and everybody that uh, got items um, has let me know uh, that they received them, you know, they love them, so I'm glad that those all were received safely. Now, this has got, let me see, it's a 50 by 50. It's a round. It's got 28 colors, and this painting is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Now, like I said, I started this Sunday. I'm more than halfway done. It's a round. Um, it's, uh, I have not had any problems with this canvas. And just as I say that, a drill popped off. But uh, no, wait till you see this. So as I was saying, um, in the items that I gave away, I had given a 40 by 40 of this painting away. But look at this. Look at the details in Santa's face. Can you believe this? The details and the sparkle of the drills and the diamonds are absolutely gorgeous. The rich colors, you can see the blue in his eyes. The rich colors of the reds and the, the, the blacks and the colors of the snowman right here. Um, it's just beautiful. And I started the green of the holly uh, leaves this morning. It's just a beautiful painting. It's so pretty. But the details in Santa's face and uh, yeah, I'm already down to here. Yeah. It's just a really, really, really pretty. Uh, so I'm working, I still have, you can see the drills that um, I'm, I need to throw in right here. I'll pull you guys in a little bit. So yeah, I got drills here I need to throw in. But uh, yeah, the blues in his eyes. There's only three stones, but you can actually, 
they show up. Um, this is from GBFKE. I love it. I absolutely love this. Yeah. Um, it's just a great painting. Um, the picture and the detail, like I said, is just uh, incredible. So I wanted to reveal and let you all know that um, I did, uh, I participated with Laura and Jack and we did the, the, the diamond paint along. Um, I did one with Jack and then I did one with Laura, but the one that I just did recently was with uh, Jack over at um, Diamond Painting with Jack and we did the Hello Kitty. She did the Hello Kitty. I'm going to be doing one in March and uh, I'm going to call it M&M. &M. So M&M, &M, it doesn't have to be this guy. It, it can be. It can be an M&M. &M. Um, it can be anything. It can be Mickey Mouse. It can be Marilyn Monroe. All it has to be is both words have to start with an M and an M. Now, it can be one of your kids. Uh, it just has to be M and M. I don't, I, you know, so, um, yeah. So I'm going to do that in March, the whole month of March. So anybody that wants to partake and uh, join me in that diamond paint along with friends, I'm going to show you the canvas I'm going to work on. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be called M&M. &M. So the painting has to have M&M and &M in the title. Um, yeah, so Mickey Mouse, Marilyn Monroe, M&Ms, uh, Michael Martin Murphy, he was a <laughs> he was a country western singer in the 70s and 80s. Um, remember that song Wildfire? Yeah, he sang Wildfire. He was great. Um, but so that's what I'm going to be doing in March. I know um, I think I think Enza's doing one in March also. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you the canvas I'm going to be doing. Um, this is a 40 by 50. It's got 18 colors. And this is actually, I'm not a fan of this, of this uh, Hollywood icon. What, Bruce? What? Take the cat. Oh, Bruce is taking the cat to get his shot. Yikes. It's like two o'clock. Butters, you need to go get a shot. Come here, Butters. So I'm gonna show you the canvas uh, I'm gonna be working on in March for the M&M &M, uh, diamond paint along with friends. Now, I, I was never a fan of this person, um, but I do love this picture of her. This is Marilyn Monroe. Um, you can't probably see, but her lips, there is color in this photo. It's not just gray, black and white, and silver and gray. There are the blues of the diamonds in her bracelet. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna tell Google to turn the TV off. Hey Google, turn off television. All right, turning off the TV. Google scares me sometimes. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on. Um, yeah, she. It, it's actually a beautiful picture of her. This came from Fan Cells. Um, anybody interested in this canvas number, I will have a link with the, the number of the canvas. Um, like I said, it's a 40 by 50. It is, I think it's a round, I believe. Let me look. Yeah, it's a round. Um, it's got blues, reds, um, 18 colors, like I said, and it is a 40 by 50. It's, ab it's, it's actually a really, really pretty picture of her. It's a great picture of her. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to work on. So any of you that want to join me in the Diamond Paint Along with Friends, just email me. You can email me at rkevinwilson at gmail.com. Uh, let me know what you're going to do. Um, and I will, uh, you know, keep track of all your names, your channels, and what you're working on. And hey, we'll do it in March. Uh, it was fun. It was it was a lot of fun doing both of those two that I did 
with the ladies. So, um, yeah, somebody was saying, Richard, you know, you should do a paint along with friends. So I'm going to do March and I will do Eminem. So I'm going to pop the camera around here and uh, we're going to um, work on this and I'm going to fill in these, uh, this little area. Um, and yes, I'm back to using my uh, glue dots. So uh, you'll see me using glue dots. So I'm gonna turn off my ring light. I'm gonna bring the camera around we're gonna pop you down here and we're gonna work on Santa for a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna fill in these spots right here. I'm going to grab my ring light. I'm going to grab my tray. I'm going to grab the drills. And hey, let's fill in this section right here. So, uh, what did I want to talk about? Um, yeah, so I, I got good news from my doctor, which was uh, the best thing I was you know, could have ever hoped for. I was nervous. Uh, those are the bells on my uh, little angel I have hanging from my ring light that one of my beating ladies gave me a couple Christmases ago. Um, yeah, so... Hopefully where all of you live, you're not dealing with um, what we're dealing with here in Sacramento. So porch pirate stealing is the worst thing in the world. I mean, when people can become such low life that they have to steal uh, people's packages from their front porch, uh, it's pretty bad. But uh, one of the porch pirates... Uh, I mean, she just, she didn't even care. She just, she just went right up to the front porch. Um, she actually looked at their ring camera and, uh, now this is really bad when somebody is stealing from you and they're stealing packages and right on camera, right in the view of the lens is the back of their jeans and on their jeans is an anti-theft device. You know, those things that they scan and they use those plier things to take off in a store so it doesn't set up the security alarm when you go through the register. When they have those on the jeans that they're wearing, uh, that's pretty uh, white trash. And white trash does not just mean white people. White trash just means low life, you know, you have to steal from people, but then, you know, you're going to be wearing jeans that have an anti-theft device right on the jeans. Um, that's really, really, really bad. Um, so, yeah, it's like, you know, just like I say all the time, be, a, be careful, be aware of your surroundings when you go out. Um... People are just, uh, it, it, it's pretty bad in the world. And um, this happens everywhere. It's not just uh, California. See, this is the problem I was having with my glue dots. I don't know why. I, th I really think it's the um, heat of where you live. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this canvas. I love the detail in Santa's face. And I love the detail in the snowman's, uh, the colors of the snowman. I think I just gleeked on my <laughs> ring light. We all know what gleek is when we talk and we do that little, that little arc of uh, spit. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. I don't understand why it happens or how it happens. But, uh, 
That's, oh, I got one more right there. But yeah, I was like, why are there pinks and purples in this picture? But as I started working on him, um, it all made sense. The, the colors in this are kind of like the background colors of that Christmas um, landscape. What I'm calling a new, uh, new England Christmas. Yeah, the pinks and the lavenders and stuff in the winter sky all made sense. Uh, what else? Oh, I finished three really, really, really good books in the last couple of days since I've been sick. Um, I listen to audiobooks while I diamond paint, but you all know that. Um, and one was called Boys in the Valley by Philip Fercasi. So those of you that like, uh, I don't want to call it, well, yeah, it was a horror novel, but it was also a coming of age tale about um, 30 young boys in a Catholic orphanage who were being um, abused by three of the priests. But it wasn't just your tale of uh, abuse of uh, boys in a Catholic orphanage it was very dark it was very it was very uh just pure it, it was creepy it was fun it was a lot of fun i love the book it made me cry at the end actually um and then what else have i been doing I'm just uh being sick just kicked my butt kicked me just knocked me out from under my uh feet uh, knocked me right off my pumps, as I like to say. Yeah, so I'm 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 looking forward to doing the Marilyn Monroe canvas. I've had her for a while, uh, and I thought, you know what, March, you know, beginning of springtime. Well, really, April is the beginning of spring, I think. But I thought March would be perfect. M, M for March, M and M, uh, Marilyn Monroe. And then I thought, oh, that'd be perfect. And I was talking to Laura at Crafty Chef Diamond uh, because I had made her a little short um, to put in her Christmas premiere. So I told her that I was going to do a um, paint with friends in March, and I told her I was thinking about doing uh, Marilyn Monroe, so yeah. Like I said, it can be any M&M. &M. It doesn't have to be, uh, it can be Marilyn Monroe. It can even be the same painting I'm doing. Uh, but I thought that would be fun. So, wow, I could think of a lot of um, Marilyn Manson. Um, kind of funny you could probably even google m&m words <laughs> and i'm sure you'd find characters i have seen diamond paintings of the m&m characters so that's kind of funny but yeah i'm gonna do uh marilyn monroe for m&m so i just have one slash um i've got some j's an a and an e so let's pop these in really quick. And uh, that is gonna be it for today. Um, I need to... run to the post office. I need to mail out some books from my paperback swap account that people requested. One was um, Golgotha Falls by the author of Audrey Rose. Uh, the author's name was Frank DeFalita. He, we lost him not too many years back, but uh, if you've never read Audrey Rose or seen the movie, great, great movie, great movie, great book. And then he wrote a sequel 
call for the love of Audrey Rose. Wasn't as good, but it did follow up uh, the story of what had happened to um, Ivy Templeton. Uh, what happened to Ivy's mother. And yeah, so I have to mail out one of those. Um, and then I have another book I have to mail out. Sarah, what are you roughing about? Oh. I don't I don't know what he hears or sees. He can probably hear the mail person coming down the street because he can tell when the mailman is coming before the mail person even comes. I don't know. I don't know how dogs do that. It's kind of funny, actually. So, Kelly Cyberling, hopefully you have gotten your Frankenstein socks. Kelly won the socks from my... My booktube channel uh, giveaway. It was kind of funny. She, um, oh, told you guys he could tell the mail person was coming. Yeah, our mail carrier. I don't know. They must be able to hear the, I think they can hear the, the mail truck. It just has a certain sound to it. And dogs either like it or they don't. Zero loves our male person, but uh, he barks like he's, you know, thinks he's fierce. He's not really fierce. He can be fierce. He can be mean if he wants, but uh, hopefully, a lot of you are. Getting done with your Christmas shopping. That's the last J. I've got one slash right here. I've got an equal sign, a T, a P. Oh, here's one more right here. And then I've got... One T, two P's, a V, and I am going to slide down and move to the next section. But, yeah, sorry I've been gone so long. Yeah, 12 days is a long time to not do a video. It, uh, I was chomping at the bits, but I was just on flat on my back. <laughs> Not really, because I couldn't sleep, so um, I would take, uh, I took Mucinex, thank God for Mucinex, because that's the only thing that gets me through this. And I get a winter cold every year, and I have since I was a little kid. Um, I always get it either in December or January, and it always lasts a minimum of a week. So in the 23 years Bruce and I have been together, he was teasing me. He said, you know, you get one every single year. He said, I don't know why. Uh, but I wasn't expecting to get it this week. Uh, special shout out to Martin and Marcus. They are two twin boys that watch my channel in... Um, Alabama. They're 12 years old. They love watching. They love watching my booktube channel. It's funny. And then um, I had no idea that they were only 10 years old when they started watching my booktube channel. But, you know, I started reading horror when I was nine. And then when um, I saw him pop up, that's it, you guys. So I'm going to move down. So when I saw him pop up on the, the Real Man Craft 2 channel, I asked them one day if it was them. And they were like, yep, we're here. So uh, their mom, Cheryl, said that uh, <laughs> they were watching me one day. And they said, you know, we want to buy a diamond painting. We want to try it. And now they've done, they've done eight or nine of them, I guess. And um, 
They've turned out really, really good. They've had them framed, so hey. There's nothing wrong with uh, doing arts and crafts. It's creative, it keeps our minds busy. So I'm gonna move down here, everybody. So uh, I wanna tell you all, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right either here or here, wherever it uh, pops up. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Throw me a thumbs up, uh, it would be fun to see. Don't forget that if you do wanna uh, join me in the March uh, Diamond Paint Along With Friends, we're gonna do M&M. So uh, think of something creative. Email me at rkevinwilson at gmail.com. And hey, you guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Have a good rest of your week. Don't get sick. Be kind to others. And just remember, um, you are important in this world. And uh, hey, take care of yourselves. It's me, Richard, with Real Minecraft 2. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. I'm going to get back to work on Santa.